What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today I'm actually going to show you some slower motion uh, action shots of the releases. I want you to be able to see it. I'm gonna try to get you some better footage. I know some of the videos that I've done before talking about the release didn't really give you that great of a look at the release. So I'm gonna try to get some good slow motion video of the release so you guys can see it. Um, and compare each release. I'm gonna do three different releases, playing straight, uh, more of like a 45 degree angle release, and then like a 90 degree release at the same time. So we'll see all three of those. It's just gonna be a real quick, short video, um, but we're gonna see those here in a minute, so stay tuned. So that was your uh, up the back, trying to play straighter. Really didn't do much with my hand. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna try to go about 45 degrees, which this is about what I would consider the most versatile type of release. This is more of like a Dom Barrett, you know, Bill O'Neill, old school Michael Fagan. You know, those types of releases were, were very versatile. And that's where I'm gonna try to go here. So that one comes off the dry, rotates a little bit more, comes off the dry harder. And now we're gonna go towards, you know, something more like a Pete Weber. Kind of twirl it a little bit, 90 degrees, maybe even a, like a Ryan Schaefer a little bit. You know, guys that get their hand and wrap it around and they can really get it to come off the back of the pattern. Chris Pather does it pretty good when he's really playing further left. He does it really good. Try to play the same part of the line so you can really watch this ball come off of the dry. See how that thing hits the dry and just boomerangs to the left. All right, there you go. So that's really where we're at with those three different releases. You can see the big difference between straighter up the back, 45 degrees, and about 90 degrees. I can't say that's exactly what I did, but you get this, you get the point of reference there, the difference between the three. That's what we're looking for. You know, you gotta be able to do these different types of releases to play different parts of the lane, to create different types of reaction, to get the ball to go through the pins differently. So I hope this helped you. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it did. If not, eh, you can let me know that too. Um, but until next time, I'm getting out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.